Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial video, we'll be creating a Twitter retweet bot using Tweepy. Our bot will retweet a tweet if it mentions our username in a positive way, and it will retweet a tweet if it contains certain keywords. We'll be using Python 3 for this tutorial, and I'll be using Visual Studio Code as my code editor, but you can use any text editor you want. I'll be assuming that you already have Tweepy set up, but if you don't, then I've created a tutorial which you can watch by clicking this icon here at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description. Before we get into the code though, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you found it helpful and enjoyable. Let's get into the video. All right, so this will be our project. Over here, I just have the actual Python script, and then here I have a text file which stores all the credentials of our Twitter bot. So this is just the initialization code which I explained in the Tweepy setup tutorial. Then over here on Twitter, this will be the account that the bot runs on. Obviously, you could run the bot on your main account, but since this is a tutorial, I'm running this on a new account that nobody except myself knows of. Back in our project, the first bot that we'll be making is a retweet bot that retweets tweets that mention our name in a positive way. So if someone says anything negative about us, we won't retweet that tweet. But if someone says something positive about us, then we'll retweet their tweet. So for this, we'll need an extra module called text blob, which is a Python library used for processing textual data, which we'll be using to decide if a certain tweet is positive or negative. So the bot we'll be creating will also make use of simple Twitter sentiment analysis. And if you don't know what I just said, basically this library will help us decide whether a tweet is positive or negative. So we first need to install this library. So so in my command prompt, I'll type pip install text blob and hit enter. After it's done installing, we can close this window and head back into our project. Now we can import the text blob object by typing from text blob import text blob. And we'll also be making use of the time module, so import time as well. Now we can head back down here and now we just think for a while. What do we want the bot to do? Well, we want the bot to retweet tweets that mention us if it's a positive tweet. So the first step is to find tweets that mention us in the first place. So inside of a while true loop, we can type mentions equal API dot mentions timeline and this will return a list of tweets that mention us so how do we get the information about those tweets well we iterate through each tweet by typing for mention in mentions and inside of the print function we can print the text of the tweet that mentions us by typing mention dot text and then outside of the for loop we can set a delay which is why the time module was important here so we can type time dot sleep and set a delay of about 15 seconds so now we can actually test the bot so I'll have Twitter open on the one side and currently I'm not logged in with the bot account, I'm logged in with my main account, and on the right side I have the actual project open with the code we just wrote. So now I'll be running the bot, and on the left side I'll be creating a tweet. I'll say something like, hi tutorial account, your mom xd, and tweet it. After some time we should see the bot pick up the tweet, and print the text of the tweet into the terminal right here. Before I kill the script though, I'm just gonna let the bot run for a while longer. As you can see, it brought up the same tweet three times, and it's gonna keep doing this until we create a new tweet, where we mention the bot. So let me me create another tweet mentioning the account and now if you wait a while again we can see that it does the same thing for each new tweet now this might not seem like a problem but later in our project the bot will try to retweet a tweet that's already been retweeted so to fix this problem we need to first of all kill our script so if you're using visual studio code you can either press this kill button right here or just press ctrl c and then close this panel so to fix the problem we had earlier we need to go outside of the infinite while loop and create a new variable called mention id and set it to one this will store the ID of the latest tweet that mentions us. And you'll see why this is important later. Here, when we search for mentions, we need to directly set a parameter called since ID and pass the mention ID variable we just created. This since ID parameter will search for tweets that have an ID greater of the number that we passed through it. So in our case, it will search for IDs greater than one. Then whenever we find a mention tweet, we need to set mention ID to the ID of the most recently found mentioned tweet. This will cause the bot to not repeat finding the same tweet every time and instead only find tweets that we haven't already found, now we can go on and do step two, which is to decide whether this tweet is positive or negative. And we can do this by creating a blob object, which we'll store inside a variable called mention analysis. And in it, we store text blob. And as an argument to this object, we pass the tweet's text. And don't worry if the tweet contains random characters and symbols such as at or random names, the bot will classify those as neutral. We'll also need a variable to somehow let us know how positive or negative this tweet is. So we'll say that mention analysis score is equal to to mention analysis dot sentiment dot polarity and this will give us a decimal number which represents the positivity of the tweet for instance if we get 0 0.3 or 0 0.6 or 1.0 which is the highest number then it means the tweet is positive and if we get something like minus 0 0.2 or minus 0 0.8 or minus 0 0.1 which is the highest negative number then it means the tweet is negative so now we can create an f string and inside it we can type tweet has polarity score of and then the variable we just created and then when we open up twitter and have our project 
object on the right side of the screen again, we can run our code, and on the left I'll type something really positive, I'll be pretending that this tutorial account is some kind of author. So I'll type, your books are amazing, at tutorial account, I love your work, keep on doing great things. Then let's tweet this and see what polarity score we get. As we can see, we get a positive score of 0.6, so now let's do the exact opposite thing and type, at tutorial account, your work is awful, I hate it, and you make me miserable. Obviously this is over exaggerated quite a lot, but let's go ahead and tweet it. As we can see, we get a highly negative score of minus 0.9. Now let's do one more tweet, where the tweet is mostly positive, but there is some criticism. So, hi, at tutorial account, I love your work, but one of the chapters was not good. Keep writing great books though, and this gives us a polarity score of 0.3, meaning that it's quite a positive tweet actually. Keep in mind though that this text blob library is quite simple when it comes to sentiment analysis, so if you want to improve the bot, I'll suggest using something a bit more advanced. Moving on though, we have two steps down. We can find tweets that mention us, we can determine if the tweet is positive or negative, now we move on to step 3, which is to retweet the tweet if it is positive. We first need to create a new variable up here called bot ID, and store the bot's account ID by typing api.me.id string, and then converting it into an integer. You'll see why this is important later. We can then go back here and check if the current tweet is not a reply to another tweet, because we don't want to retweet replies, and then we can check if the tweet author is not ourself because we don't want to retweet tweets that were created by us. We can then create a nested if statement and check if the mention analysis score is greater than 0.3 because we only want to retweet really positive tweets and not somewhat positive tweets. You can tweak this number if you'd like though. And then we can finally check if we haven't already retweeted this tweet. And then we can go ahead and create a try accept block because it's quite likely to catch errors. In the try block I'll type api.retweet mention id. This will retweet the tweet if all of these conditions are satisfied. Then in the accept block, I'll type accept exception as er, print er. Now this should be all the code, but I'll be adding a few more print statements to explain the output and make it a bit easier to understand, as well as for debugging purposes. So let's print mention tweet found, then print an f string which will print the tweet author's name and the text of their tweet. Then here we can print trying retweet, then here we can type retweet successfully retweeted with a new line. Then we can actually add an else statement to this if statement and print tweet will not be retweeted with a new line at the end. Now if we open up Twitter on the left side of the screen again and we run our bot, I'll be tweeting a really negative tweet. And if we wait a while for the bot to pick it up, we see here that the polarity score is less than 0.3, so the bot will not be retweeting this tweet. But if we now go ahead and tweet a really positive tweet, then wait for the bot to pick it up, we see that the tweet has a polarity score higher than 0.3, and the bot tells us that the tweet has been retweeted. So if we go back and check on the bot's account, we also see that the positive tweet has in fact been retweeted. So that's all the code for the positive review retweet bot. I'll now be showing you how to create a retweet bot that retweets all tweets containing certain characters. So first of all, we need to create a stream listener, which will check for all incoming tweets which follow certain criteria. We can create our stream listener by creating a class called myStreamListener, which will inherit from streamListener and override the onStatus function. We then add a parameter to this onStatus function called tweet, which will represent the tweets we find. For now, we can just print the author and the text of the tweet. We can then create an instance of our stream listener called stream listener and then we can create a stream object instance and directly pass two arguments. We first pass api.auth into auth and then in listener we pass the instance of the stream listener we just created. We can then go ahead and type stream.filter and this filter method will be responsible for finding our tweets. So the first parameter we need to give is called track and we need to give it a list of all the terms we want to find tweets of. So let's say we want to find tweets about the python coding language then we can type python and let's say we also want to find tweets about Elon Musk, we then type Elon Musk. And we can add more if we want, but I'll actually just be searching for tweets containing the word Python. The second argument we pass will also be a list, but this time it's the language of the tweets we want to find. But since I want to only find tweets in English, I'll type EN. If we run our code, everything should actually work now. And as we can see, we start receiving quite a lot of tweets about Python. Now what if we wanted to retweet each of these that satisfy our future conditions? Well, we need to go back to our onStatus method, and in here we can type the same code we typed earlier where we checked if the tweet was a reply to another tweet and if we are the author of the tweet. And if both of these two conditions are satisfied, so if we're not the author and the tweet is not a reply, then we can go ahead and check if the tweet hasn't been retweeted yet. And if it hasn't been retweeted, we can create the same try and accept blocks from earlier and we can go ahead and just try to retweet this tweet. And if we catch an exception, let's just print the exception. I'll then be adding a few print commands to again make the output a bit easier to understand. So tweet found, then let's tweet the tweet author and the actual text of the tweet, then attempting retweet, tweet successfully retweeted, and finally
accordingly, we should now be able to run our code. And as we can see, we get a lot of tweets displayed in the output. You get these glimpses of tweets supposedly being retweeted. And every now and then you get glimpses of tweets not being able to be retweeted because we have already retweeted them. Now I'll head back to Twitter. As we can see, we have retweeted some tweets and they all have at least one thing in common, which is the word Python. That'll do it for this video. The code will be available on GitHub. I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you spotted a mistake or you would like to see a tutorial about another topic, then just let me know in the comment section. Other than that though, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.